Blockchain technology is essentially this decentralized neuron structure that like the brain and that the universe uses where you have no one node in control. You have a decentralized set of nodes that fire and that respond and communicate with each other. And in synchronization, they create the God mind, they create the one. Um, but individually, they are individual nodes and, you know, decentralized separate natures that represent the one energy. And so whether that's the brain or that's the blockchain, it's the same concept. And so before we had these systems that were the you know, the um, essentially the parasitic construct, the pyramid energy, a funneling, an unnatural funneling of energy against natural order um, that was siphoning energy from the people of the planet and from the earth. And so this is going to redistribute that. And so on the tangible level, it's going to be giving the average person the same kind of capabilities and opportunities that only the central banking elite and the, you know, 0.1% would have typically had. And now that magic, that um, opportunity is available to the masses to work as one, as a decentralized autonomous kind of a unit. It makes all other transfer systems obsolete. This is not a cryptocurrency. It is a system based on asset-backed digital currency. This security basis is based on a phototonic technology that does, get this, 3.5 trillion frames, not bytes, per second. That's great. I believe you use something like this, the XRP ledger. That's right, the XRP ledger, which is a decentralized exchange for the world that it can exchange anything to anything as we are all well aware of. Top 10 mentions on Twitter in the last hour. Look at, look at XRP uh, uh, above all of these folks. XRP was designed after Bitcoin, okay? XRP is really the true Bitcoin 5.0, and they were, they, because it used to be in the number two position. It was Bitcoin, XRP, and Ethereum. Three years ago, four years ago, that was us. But because they realized that, you know, once people find out the utility of this thing, and the fact that you could build, you know, federated side chains, you could build NFTs, you could build other coins on it. It moves money at the speed of light accurately never made a mistake it could be amped up to 3.5 trillion transactions per second we can't have that because if people find out about that they're all going to invest because they went to the banks and the bank said no go away we're going to create our own ripple when they realized that the secret sauce recipe was so difficult and that anybody who was anybody in the talent pool was already working for ripple they went back and said hey maybe we can get into each other's good graces okay they're done top banks top banks use ripple for cross-border payments Currently, here we go, the Ripple Payment Network works with worldwide financial institutions. It's not going to name them all. It's not going to name them all. We're not just talking about some Bank of Canada and Israel. Let me repeat this. Ripple Payment Network works with worldwide financial institutions from 50, over, over 55 countries. There, you hear what I just said? that the XRP in particular, but these projects are reverse engineered at Kashuk Records and that they are an intergalactic technology, which is everything I've been saying, right? Since like all this started, that this is an intergalactic technology that was seeded here, um, both through, you know, physical stuff, but mainly through channeling and that David Schwartz, you know, our favorite David Schwartz, I enduringly call him the space Sasquatch, that he channeled this information. This replaces the dynamic routing system that we currently have. It's a true physical GPS authentication between the sender and receiver. The artificial intelligence that controls this will control the transfers and independently controls the global network. The AI program will handle instant settlements, real time in seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, and we know that because we know of a fellow that did a transfer uh, recently within the last couple of weeks ago, actually, that uh, it, it was landed in five seconds as opposed to like 24 or 48 hours. That he, um, and that's what the Law of One talks about, that when these pivotal pieces of technology and information and developments in recent times have been brought to earth, they've been done so through channeling, not even consciously by the channeler, but through dreams, through telepathy that they might not even be aware are coming from a galactic source, but that they're just getting as inspiring downloads, you know, akin to like Tesla channeling his technology. It becomes a bridge currency, so you can keep your little spy on me digital yuan coin, and we'll keep our dollar, and everybody's good to go because we don't have to hold your dollar anymore, which we know is completely invasive. Ripple is a tech company in San Francisco that wants to help banks move that cash from point A to point B faster and more cheaply. Ripple wants to do that by utilizing a digital token called XRP. What Ripple really is going after is the SWIFT network or international payment transfer. So what you're talking about here is an upgrade of the international financial system. I was told by someone three years ago that XRP was created to prevent World War III and that it was for the purpose of replacing the petrodollar. I was told that. Were they right? We shall see.